Selection, I always bought my own pens and just put my name on it and kill them. For well, sure. Uh, but, uh, but you're not doing that. Uh, right now. Well, what's our options for next week, do you think? Well, uh, circuit clerks probably will have about 40,000. I, I hope we get something in. That's the only thing I can say. I, is the state still behind on uh, sales tax and stuff like that? Well, sales tax are up on, but the income tax and it's the biggest one that's income behind. Income tax is yeah. still what? A couple hundred thousand dollars back on that yet? We had that figure here a while back. I forgot. It's, yeah. it's in that neighborhood. Something like that. I have to make a phone call see if we can't get some of that. They, they usually won't give it to one unless they give it to every county and they won't. Yeah. I was hoping it would be more regular. I understand there's a lot of people coming in paying both uh, installments. installments on their taxes and stuff. I don't know. They don't realize it. it might help in the long run, but it don't help immediately, you know. Well, it helps me out because I don't have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, a lot of people think that all that money we get to keep and... Uh, which I appreciate anybody paying, like I said, paying the whole thing. And can't we get a lot of people mailing it in too? So. <coughs> so thank you for giving us a full report this week. It's all right. Yep, everything's pretty well caught up over there on that part of it. <coughs> we just get through this next couple of months. Anybody got anything else? I get to go over and help the girls break some taxes. No, um, that's it. Thank you. All right, man. See y'all. Thank you for Bill, what can we do for you? I see I you're did. not on the agenda, but. Uh, you know, I didn't know this book was going to come in today, uh, Friday, and I just wanted to drop this off. Talk well, to you just, welcome. Just a second. You got yeah, just go ahead and say what you say. There's nobody here right now. All right. Good morning, Joe. We got a very loud agenda. How's it going? I, you know, I'm sorry. Last time I came here, I didn't. You were awful quiet, and I, I figured I thought you were in, in heavy thought. I didn't even speak to you. I have been in heavy thought. Uh, I'm just sorry. I didn't speak to you. I mean, wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't, not, wasn't not, not ignoring you. I just, you look like to me like you're just too darn busy for me to see you talk. Well, I understand. I <laughs> uh, just want to touch base with you guys. Uh, we've got your pre-renewal ready extra early because we know uh, got some decisions to make, and those decisions I can't make. So I've got a, got it broken down for John real easy. We can go through and look at all your all your buildings and all your cars and all your values. We want to make sure that we're we're, we're pretty sure it's all accurate and the dining stays on top of it on a weekly basis. But we're human beings; we can make mistakes, but we hope we don't. Um, there's a lady here telling you what we need. We're going to have to have a, a 2012 or 2013 budget, which you probably haven't got that put together yet. I understand that. Um, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. It, it goes by property, goes by general liability, and goes by autos, and somebody has to sign off on it. I don't know who signs off, who's been signed off on it. Chairman. Chairman. Okay. Chairman. Okay. We want to give it to, give to you, you, and you can read that. And it, uh, if we can help you, John, when you start we'll put all that together, yeah. we'll help you. Now, on the work comp, uh, we based uh, our renewal on last year's audited premium. Mm -hmm. If that's going to change, that's where you're going to be able to save some money. Okay. We'll have a... Did you look at the draft we have, the 2000? Yeah, yeah. 
we have the 2011 draft. Right. Exactly. Yeah, we have looked at that. Okay. And, but 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 you can go. It's, it's got it by by department and by code, so you can go and yeah. check the numbers if if say one department's going to be down on the payroll. I think if we make a disbursement that we're going to have, we're going to be good to go for full payment. If, if not, we, we can do a three quarter. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, you can do it like you did last year. Not, not a problem. Um, is the renewal over, higher? We don't know until we get all the information. It's probably going to come in probably pretty close to last year. Okay. And that, and we're pretty help, hopeful on that. Uh, uh, we, we've obviously got uh, Southern Illinois has been inundated with lightning and yeah. houses of I haven't heard back from over here. I said, oh, no news is good news. I guess it's all going, going all right. I, I suppose what that, that Ted will probably be in today and ask him if we're where we are with it. You know, we just are dumbfounded. Why does that just keep happening and happening? Because there's so much electronics concentrated in one building and they got that lightning rod up there. It happens all the time. Is there something we can do to prevent it? You know, the guy that does in installation probably can, you can probably talk to him about uh, uh, lightning suppression system they, they, all the time in advance on that. Mm -hmm. uh, they make a, a box that you hook to that stuff that's supposed to take the load, but sometimes when you get a direct hit, it just doesn't okay. work. Uh, we pay those all the time. It's like that substation down there, you know, whenever them things get hit. We had one, what, about <coughs> 20 years ago, hit one that cost $390,000 to fix that substation. Mm. Lightning does some strength. We had a lot of lightning this week, boys. Uh, a lot. Most <laughs> I've seen in a minute. I was standing on the front porch thinking, thinking about how many people were going to call me at home. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, knock on wood, uh, not very many. But uh, did have a few pretty serious stuff. But, uh, like I say, I'll be glad to come back and meet Williams and do whatever is necessary. But uh, I'll help you try to just keep it as close as we can. we got to save money. Yeah. But, well, we appreciate but if the property, you know, if we keep adding vehicles and we keep adding people and payroll keeps going up, there's, there's ain't much to do about that. That's right. But uh, times, are, times are tough. Anything else you got to need? How soon do you need a job? Yeah, okay. okay. next, uh, yeah, but I'm going to have October 1st. We, we'd like to get in sooner than that. The sooner we get it in, sometimes the better negotiations we have with them. Okay. It, because all the renewals come in at the same time. So if they have, I don't know, if they have a bunch all at once, uh, if yours gets in first, then we have the opportunity to talk to them earlier. Okay. And uh, sometimes it helps. You know, if you've got 600 things to do and you're in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> or at the bottom. Or at the bottom. <laughs> uh, you know, they can pull. You know, you know how that is. But if you come in, if you come in first and you get a chance to say, well, I just got started on Yeah, let's talk about it. That's what it well, thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Come in. We'll get as soon as possible. All right. All right, Danny. Have a good day. Yep. You got homework to do as you really need it, huh? <laughs> you get it I'm all sure looked over. Okay, I'll it. All right. Here is the city of Centralia sent this to Billy McDaniel. Yeah, it looks like I've got the same. Okay. Here. Uh, here is a letter. I'll let you read it. They're just requesting a letter to be faxed to them of supporting. If you all want to sign that, and I'll get that fax to them. On behalf of the community of Mastac County, we support and encourage the efforts of our legislators in working as a bipartisan coalition for Southern Illinois. The economic vitality of our region requires a unified effort in sending a message that we can respectfully request our voice to be heard and respected on the policy-making decisions that impact our region. Joe will come back in. We'll make motions on that. <gasps> so the city received the same thing, did they? Well, yeah, this city that looks like it's the exact same thing that you got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yeah, yeah it's the exact same okay. thing. Okay. I guess Centralia must be losing a correctional facility up there or something. Mm -hmm. I thought they backed off that. But well, it came with a. Uh, it came with one. Well. We'll do that too, or do it Well, own. actually, you do it. I, we'd have had it down on your letterhead. <laughs> it's verbatim. <laughs> okay. Okay. You just wrote it over. Yeah. No problem. Because I'm requesting it be on your letterhead. Gerald, here we have a uh, letter requesting our support 
and you can give a quick read over. I just read it and we'll make a motion to accept that. He just said the city of Metropolis did the same thing. Do you need any of this information? I'd hang on to it. Why don't we do it? I'll leave it at PACS number. I'll leave it at PACS. I thought you might want them numbers. Was your ears burning the other day? No more than normal. Well, I, I think the people of Joppa are still wanting you to come down and clean those gutters out down there, and they hadn't seen your face down there lately. They just wanted to know if you was okay. All of them. Okay. <laughs> we'll be down that way in a week or so. They can look forward to seeing you pretty soon, maybe. I'm surprised all this rain they hadn't got washed out on their own. Uh, they didn't get washed out in the last couple thunderstorms. <laughs> you find beach balls and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. everything else in and all the trash they throw out. But it was brought to my attention the other day that you hadn't came down to visit them yet. Yeah, we got to go down to their maintenance. Now that you are down there, I understand doing some oil and chipping in the area anyway, aren't you? You're okay. No. We're not in there yet. We're going to be. Okay, you're going to be yeah, down there. next okay. week or so. Sure. We're, we'll talk about we it. got back. We uh, we didn't do any oil and chipping last week. We took advantage of the rains and tried to grade some roads, and then they all washed out on mm -hmm. Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we did some more grading yesterday, and we got back to oil. We didn't do any oil and chip last week, but we are, we're back at it. Uh, Larry, there on Peyton Hill Road, you know, where that curve, not the real long curve, just north of Martin there, but that little one there where that little, uh, there's a bill, farm bill in there, I guess, the bottom of the flat. Thank you. Uh, I believe the north, hey. north of that, I believe that the uh, road is paved on. Did you notice that where the crack there? What is the shoulder? Is it just shoving out or what? I can see that. That dirt. Especially in this dry weather. What we talked yeah, about mm -hmm. last week. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, you put that in there, didn't you, for a shoulder? No, we didn't we didn't mess with that. That's oh, been there for years. Okay. And after uh -huh. we put the uh, asphalt on it, that started cracking and showing up. Mm -hmm. And of course with this dry weather it's gotten worse and uh, what I want to do is go up there and try to fill that crack up with yeah. We get a chance so the water won't yeah. get down in there. Yeah. yeah, I've been washing it. It I just noticed it though, but I think first time I've been it's been going on for I've been washing it for a couple years now. How wide a crack is it? Yeah. Probably about that wide no not an inch, but it's a quarter to a half inch right now. You couldn't get asphalt down in that could you? I mean oil maybe, but that's what I'm talking about. Hot oil. Hot oil. Hot oil. Yeah. We've done that before. Hey, we had a place up here uh, just south of Randolph did the same thing. And there's a, you can feel a, a depression. Now, where's it gone? Uh, you know, uh, there's no indication that you're seeing any movement anywhere. <coughs> but it's it's moving. You know that uh, the pavement on 45 from Mermet to Carnac Road that I travel about every day. 
It's right there north of that bridge on dry, uh, is that, uh, the part of there? Dry Ridge. Oh, well, that had been down. Tucker, Tucker Ditch. Okay. On the north, yeah. north side of Tucker Ditch up there by, uh, that road that just used to be Adline, Schmidt's driveway. Yeah. That's just in that building. And I figure it's the same thing. Is that old? Too. It's so dry. Dumb. Dried out so much up there that she's. Yeah. And if we get a few rains, there that can be she may fill well, back up, she raise back up, and uh, yeah. yeah, I've noticed that for a big part of the summer up there. I don't know what it is. Depends on your load, load factors. How much? It depends on the number and the size of your loads. Most. All that made a thousand miles. Yes. Most heavier uh, county highways. Uh, I've heard some new county highways. They're putting a foot of rock and then putting four to six inches of either asphalt or concrete on the top of that. Most of our bridge projects, uh, you know, they're light with traffic. We aim at uh, trying to get eight inches of walk in there. The approach and all of them. Yeah, like our little township roads and our lighter roads. Yeah. Uh, but I was involved a few years ago. You know, we haven't built any new roads in 25 years. So. But there, another county that had, and I think they were. That I remember them saying that they had aimed at a foot of aggregate and then, you know, four, six, eight, whatever kind of surface. Yeah. Depends on what they were putting on, uh, on top of that. So, as a sub base, you know. And that was a pretty busy county highway. They were, you know, building for some pretty good truck traffic. I think it was an industrial area or something like that. They were. So you're, you know, it's, uh, there's some formulas that you go through and it's based on traffic and the type of weight vehicle, the weight. <coughs> yeah. You know, I think uh, one truck is equivalent to about 350, 360 cars. Oh, really? <laughs> one. Yeah, I can see that. As far as wear and tear, you know, that's based on the formula. And the 57 highway, if they were interstate, they're working on this constant. Always got one lane well, to them. Recognize when they were designed over, well, I'd say the interstate system started over 50 years ago. Yeah, 60s, I guess. Uh, who would envision That's right. the truck traffic that we've got today? It just wasn't even envisioned. You know, they've been cars that, that road up there is loaded. They, they have told us for years that between Mount Vernon, in other words, 64 and 24, is the busiest section of Interstate 57 south of Kankakee. In other words, you've got to get between Kankakee and Chicago on 57 before you get the amount of traffic that you find between 64 and 24. Uh, yeah, I, can, I can see that, yeah. And I can I can tell you the difference in the traffic that I have seen on the 24 in the last 25 years is just tremendous. I'd say it's uh, at least four times greater now than it was 25 years ago. Yeah. You know, I, I remember 25 years ago, uh, of course, I was traveling back and forth, and I was, you'd see a, a truck every now and then, and half the traffic now. His trucks, and you don't ever get out of sight of one, hardly. So, guys, the track is. We talked here a while back about Gurley Road, just this side of Davis Road. Did you ever do a count on that? You talked about doing a vehicle count on that. There, there is a count. The state does. <laughs> when was the last time that count was made? 
polling place. I have to check the uh, traffic map, but I'm thinking there's a couple of years ago. Yeah. That would be prior to the new road down there by the new church. How many years after that? Is it after mm -hmm. that? Okay. Yeah, so I'm say if it was prior to that, that, since then we probably have maybe a year of the state. Why would the state do that? I thought that's strictly yeah. county road. They, they count it for you? They do it all over, yeah. I didn't know they uh, every uh, every five years, they will count every road. Well, take that back. A major portion of the roads in every county. The the busier roads, at least, they'll count. The the lower volume. Do they roads go to you as county engineers? Or they will ask me, do you have any particular roads different than what we did the last year? Yeah, and they the usually way. give me a copy of that report. Uh, you know. The uh, real light volume road district roads, mm -hmm. they don't necessarily count those. Uh, sometimes I'll come up, well, we've got an issue here. I've had some complaints or some concerns. Uh, could you count this road for me? And, and they're, they're quite accommodating. Used to, uh, they say, we need to count the county, and we did it. They would bring the counters to us, and we did it. I just assumed the county. Uh, but starting many years ago, uh, they started doing it, and since then they they've done it. So they've done it since about the mid about the mid nineties. They they just done it. They con contact me and say uh, we're going to be counting your county. You got anything in particular? And if I do, I tell them. And if I don't, you get a report of it. They usually usually give me a report. I think I got one last time. Although, if I didn't see, I can get on. I can get on the computer. Did you know how to get to it on the IDOS webpage and find the current the most the most up to date traffic maps? But they count the, the state highways in different locations in the interstate and. All of, our, all of our county highways get counted, and a lot of the road district roads get counted. Not all of them, but, but a lot of them. No, in the past, I just used to call uh, IDOT there in Carbondale. You just get in the intersection, and they'll look it up for you, and then you do the traffic count or melt the information for you. Mm -hmm. That's what I've done. Like, you if you want to know the corner of 10th and Ferry, just tell them, and they'll know you. I can tell you how to get online and do it. Yeah, that's what I used to do is call them. Yeah, you can. Anybody. Yeah. I, I think anybody can. I'm pretty sure anybody can. Get on my house webpage. And you've got to, it's not out. You've got to look under maps, I think, is where it's at. Because every time I, and see, I have to have a traffic count for every project that we come up with. I've got to get traffic counts, of course. I just go to the, the webpage and, and uh, look it up. I've got time to do a little something, pecking and searching every time and figure out how to get there and so on and so forth. But it's getting easier. Getting easier. Well, I still have concerned people out there on that traffic. And yeah, anybody would know it's definitely picked up since they put that new road in and everything. I went out there, I think it's a week or two ago. I hadn't talked to you about it. I just stood there at Miss Gurley's house one day and watched the traffic go back and by. There's a tremendous amount of traffic goes through there. It's, it me. it's increased like it has on all roads. And of course, it's heavier during school time. Yeah. The school kids That's true. Yeah. They head back to Fort Shawnee there. I watched that. Yeah, that they is, turn that's and, another one. Yeah, yeah, they go that way. And then a lot of them turn and go toward Paducah. They, they, have, they eliminate Metropolis that way a lot of times. I haven't looked at it since they put the new tie road to Metropolis Street in to see if it's really changed that much. But it may have changed. You drive that road quite a bit yourself, don't you? Yep. We use it. Yeah, no. We leave church on Sunday, go down, go to the road, and home. Yeah. And then usually go out the other way to go home, but that's the shortest way from church to the nursing home to see my father in law. Exactly. So. exactly. You go to church on North Avenue, in Christian? Yeah, country yeah. club, yeah. Contractor, he uh, maybe in a couple weeks he's still trying to get through the red tape. Well, that'll be good, brother. Yeah, <laughs> it will be for me. Yeah. Hey, y'all have a good one. Thank you, You're black and blue.
this stuff out like it's Christmas. Yeah, you just got all kinds of good stuff. You need to pay attention to these particular two or what? Uh, no, they just fell out. Oh, they just fell out, okay. The only one that we really need to get paid this week is the one that I highlighted. That's the last bill that's outstanding on that grant that we got for the cars. I can't close the grant yet until that one bill's paid. Good thing it's no more than that. We're going to run real tight this week. Perhaps next week we'll be have an abundant of money, but right now we're running really, really tight. Uh, if you got to have it for a grant, I'm sure we can possibly do this one. Okay. We'll highlight that one for sure. you got to have it to finish up the grant, huh? Jackson Purchase has brought over equipment to keep us running, but we're still having trouble with the reception from the cars to the town. They can't figure out what the problem is. They have to bring over something else today, the, the repeater and the duplex to see if that's it. So they don't want to give us a quote until they know exactly where all is burned out. But this place, it's going to be more than $100,000. There's about $65,000 The city's dispatching certain frequencies for us when we would still operate on our but there's some that we can't transfer. Well, I'm not going to call it for me. I'm going to try to work with them and do it for us because our stuff's going up. We still dispatch our cars. It's just the reception that we're having is terrible. We get five miles out of town, we can't hear the car. So most of the guys are operating on cell phones. Total grand total is 54,700. But uh, yeah, we'll try to knock those that one out. You got to have on the grant. I was just looking at on the grant. Your your total payoff on the grant is like fourteen hundred dollars or something like that. Correct. Uh, it's what you owed out of the grant was fourteen hundred. I think. Yeah, it was like 
Well, no, that's just a balance. I'm looking at it all. That's just a balance. Well, what I'm saying is that's off the two new cars. You just got those two new black and whites, or that's the other ones you got. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the, the black and whites I bought out of police vehicle fund, which is yeah. to get off the payment. That's what you did, yeah. Well, perhaps now that you've got a couple extra vehicles, maybe you can uh, sell a couple and help reimburse some of that. I know you're going to keep a couple for backups yeah, when you're yeah. you're down, but if you have any extras, you could possibly sell them, you know, and reimburse a little of that. Everything else running good? Right there. Okay. Full capacity? 40. We're at capacity today. 42. We're holding 14 out of county inmates. So make, make Making a little money off that, apparently. But to them bad boys out there, we still have room for them. <laughs> if they don't straighten up, we'll accommodate them. Plain mattresses that sleep on the floor. See, uh, you've been staying busy again out there. You definitely got job security out there, don't you? Yeah. There's a lot to be done. A lot to be done. That's all I got. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.